Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome back to another eBay Super Size Sales video. The items in this video sold for a hundred dollars or more and were taken from my Facebook group where every Monday we have a thread called Money Making Mondays where sellers can post what they found, where they found it, how much they paid for it, how much it sold for, and show us the listing so we can verify that the item did actually sell for that price. In this video I show you items that sold for hundred dollars or more so this is kind of the cream of the crop sales and the sales took place over the, the last 90 days or so. And just a side note on how I make these, I really pick these items at random. <laughs> um, I'll go through the Money Making Mondays a few times a month and just pull out items and put them in a video to show others what is possible. So this is meant to be educational as well as a little bit entertaining. So I've had emails from people saying, why don't you ever pick my sales? Well, there's just so much information on these threads. Um, I do try to pick new people. I try to pick things that sellers will actually find that aren't like too complicated and technical because the more you know, the more money you can make. So if you sell something and you're just dying to be in one of these videos, just send me an email and I will do my best to show your item or you can message me on Facebook and show me. So. I certainly don't mean to hurt any feelings or leave anybody out. There's just so much information that um, it takes time to go through the 500 or so comments every week on that Money Making Monday post and pull out items to make these videos. Some items are good steady sellers and stay that way for a long time and then other items are like wow who knew that so I try to give you a good mix of items that sell for a hundred dollars or more. Also a little change going forward is I'm going to show you the items in ascending order starting off with the lowest price going up to the highest price. Make that a little interesting to watch. Okay so the first item is actually a $99 item. I try to include some of those too because you're just on the threshold of a hundred dollars so going to give some of those folks credit. Max sold this Polo Ralph Lauren Fair Isle sweater. She paid $35 trade-in credit at a consignment store. Sold in about a week or so for best offer of $99 plus shipping. And this is a really interesting looking item. I can see a horse lover would buy this. And great keyword there with Fair Isle. Okay, next we've got Beth who found this vintage gown with tags still on it at a local thrift store for $1.50, took best offer of $99. This is a vintage Joelle Greppo La Perla Lingerie Italy uh, gown. And Catherine Farnsworth commented that La Perla is crazy expensive. It's the rich, rich, rich people's underwear. So make a note of that brand, La Perla. $1.50 sold for $99. Cindy bought these three panties at a local thrift store for a dollar a piece. I had 13 pairs and these are my last four sold to one person. These are some what you'd call granny panties sold for $99.96. I mean, who knew that would be a thing? So if you're not looking at the ladies' unmentionables, you might want to check that out. Connie paid $13.50 at a local rummage sale, sold in about three weeks for $100 plus shipping. These are some vintage Rydell roller skates. $13.50 sold for $100. Brian paid $20 at an estate sale in July, sold for $99.99 plus shipping a few days after Halloween. And I included this one not because Brian's always selling items over $100, but to show you that 
seasons do not matter and I'm going to keep saying that until the whole world believes because this sold on November 4th and it's a Halloween themed item. So if you're not listing items because you think it's the off season, it's not going to sell, it's too far away from the holiday, the holiday just passed, this right here is proof that eBay knows no seasons. If you have it, list it, it could sell. Rachel, this was in a lot of vintage toys I bought on Facebook Marketplace for $15. It sold for $99 in two and a half weeks. This is one of the vintage Fisher Price yellow bunny security blankets. I have a video about these and if you want more information on that it's in my um, bolo list playlist but I'll put a link to that video below so you can go watch that if you don't know about these and to look for them. We've got Rachel again paid $22 for this at an estate sale. It sold for $99 plus shipping in about a month. And this is a frog uh, trinket box. I mean, who knew? This thing shaped like a frog with a little frog on its back. I guess that's the handle. 100 bucks for this little cute looking frog thing. Only on eBay. You know, what other job is this fun where you can sell stuff like this for so much money? Summer bought this Ralph Lauren collection purple label cashmere sweater at a consignment store for $18. Sold in about six months for best offer of $100 plus shipping. And there you can see it's just your basic red sweater, but it is purple label, which is one of the higher labels of the Ralph Lauren brand. Hundred bucks, and this is the second person now that's bought something at a consignment store to resell. So if you're not checking those if you have time to check them <laughs> um, that's my problem is I've got so many places to shop I could never get to them all but a lot of times they'll have those things underpriced because consignment stores have to rely on the foot traffic that's coming in the door they don't have the reach that we have as eBay sellers so a lot of times their things are underpriced or they may just not know the brands um, they can't know everything either so if you're looking for sources of higher dollar items that uh, result in higher profit, you may want to check out consignment stores. I love shopping their clearance because the items are already clean. They're on a hanger. They've been steamed or ironed. They're in great condition because they had to be that way to be accepted into the consignment store. So you'll often find the items are in much better condition and it's a more pleasant shopping experience. Okay, we've got Mary Alice. I bought eight of these at a church sale in May. I paid $6 for all. Eight. So 75 cents each. Sold them yesterday for $12.50 each coming to $100 and buyer paid $34 shipping. So this was a set of Fostoria iced tea glasses and $100 even for the set and her investment was 75 cents each so if you're into glassware Fostoria is always a great one to look for we had some of that in my house when I was growing up and my mother just loved it okay Roberta this art glass sold in one day I paid 25 cents at Habitat for Humanity Restore in my town sold for a hundred dollars this is a piece of art and it's an apple with a worm in it and it sold for a hundred dollars so really cute little item Jennifer accepted a hundred dollar offer on this vintage wool blanket I paid eight dollars at a thrift store for it took about six months to sell and this is a vintage wool blanket off-white it doesn't even have a brand listed so somebody asked Janine asked how did you know this was vintage and Jennifer said I just look for a made in the USA tag the tags look different and feel different than modern tags yes that's true and you can do more research on what vintage tags look like on the vintage label resource site I'll put a link to that below the video. Okay, Dana bought at a thrift store for $2, had listed for $129 for about four months, 
added best offer, accepted offer of $100, going to Taiwan. This is a vintage Oshkosh overalls dress. And she says in her title there, for Cindy only. So she probably created a listing specifically for this buyer with the price they wanted to pay as well as maybe some shipping settings that had to be for that buyer in Taiwan and you can do that you know if you have a buyer who wants a specific thing or it's a lot of items and you only want some of it you don't want the entire lot you can message the seller and say you know hey I only want this can you create a listing for me and that's perfectly fine if you want to do that. Okay, Tina found at a yard sale for $5, actually grabbed it for myself as a Halloween decoration, got home and decided to look it up, sold in two weeks for $100. As much as I loved it, sold. This is a Squids Scorpion Skull Bowl by Tiki Farm, 2007. And yeah, that looks like a fun Halloween decoration, but you know what? If I found it out it was worth $100, I would sell it also. So she only paid $5 and sold it for $100. Item is from Jay, who paid a dollar at the bins, sold it in two days for $100. This is an early antique hand-punched tin hanging candle lantern. Very cool looking item and really popular now with farmhouse decor. Brandy bought this at a thrift store for $4, sold within three hours of listing at full asking price. She had best offer on it. Funny story about this toy, bought it and listed it last year but couldn't find it and had to cancel the sale, but made me set my inventory location system right. So it's a Toy Story green alien action figure. Four dollars sold for 105. Laura paid twelve dollars at a local online auction house listed on eBay for $19.99 on a seven-day auction. Received first bid within an hour after listing. Sold for $105.30. I was pleasantly surprised. This is My Cat's Garden complete set of nine Maggie Walker quilt block patterns. So it's a sewing thing, some quilt patterns. $12 sold for 105. Pamela, I had just watched a video that included Hawaiian shirt bolos when I found this vintage Rand Spooner at Savers. Paid $3.79, sold for $109 in about 24 hours. Buyer paid shipping. So you can see there it is a vintage Ray and Spooner Hawaiian shirt. And what's interesting, a lot of these high dollar items sell very quickly within hours or days. So part of the purpose of this video is to motivate you to get your stuff listed because you could have that sale very quickly. Okay, Jenny Baum paid $7 at a thrift store, sold within 12 hours for best offer of 110. Intricate knitwork, exquisite workmanship, and silky soft wool. Best part, I have four more of these sweaters to list. This is Umberto Delancioni men's sweater, and it's a bigger size, extra large to a two extra large. Just a cool looking vintage sweater. I'm guessing it's vintage. It looks kind of vintagey, but maybe not. Anyway, $7 sold for 110. Terry paid $5.99 at Goodwill and sold in less than 24 hours after listing. So another very fast sale. These are Rothy's point shoes in a size 9.5. Paid $5.99, sold for $112. Graham paid $15 for this PhotoSmart printer. Took a few months, sold for $114.99, and this was new in the package. Diana paid $5.99 at Goodwill, took best offer of $120 plus shipping after two and a half months. This is St. John, Black Label Santana Knit, so great find there. 
So basically six bucks sold it for a hundred and twenty. And then we've got Lori who is kind of new to eBay. I've been seeing her post a lot but um, she's kind of new in the last couple months at least to our group. This is a porcelain Barbie ballerina paid five dollars half of ten at the hospice rummage sale sold for best offer of a hundred and twenty dollars plus I got another one that was broken for free so there you can see it is a collectible porcelain ballerina Barbie and now we've got Amy who is a regular poster paid seven dollars and fifty cents at half price day estate sale for this gorgeous Austrian coat sold in two weeks for 125 plus 14 dollars shipping and the brand is called Steinbach Austrian and this is a zip front bomber jacket made of wool and alpaca so seven dollars and fifty cents sold for hundred and twenty five now she says she got it at half price day at an estate sale so this is proof that there's always going to be things left you don't have to get there on the first day or be the first one in line to get quote the good stuff because the good stuff is defined differently by different people so it just depends on how much you know and what you're looking for there's always going to be things to find even if you're on the last day of the estate sale Casey purchased this jacket at a yard sale for three dollars sold within a week for best offer of hundred and twenty five this is Arcteryx jacket men's two extra large three dollars sold for hundred and twenty five and now we've got Sean who paid twenty five dollars at Goodwill sold in two weeks after lowering my price and then raising it back up sold for best offer of hundred and twenty five dollars these are some Boulet ladies ostrich exotic cowboy cowgirl boots twenty five bucks sold for hundred and twenty five so here we have somebody who paid a little bit more for a nicer item and it paid off in the end with that higher profit so it takes a while to push yourself out of that comfort zone of only paying five dollars or less than something and you just have to get there where you're okay with that and I always go back to can I sell this for what I paid for it plus a little bit more to cover the fees and if the answer is yes then go for it you won't be out anything it may take a while to get that sale but if you want to grow your business you have to keep pushing yourself into different product lines and different types of items and different price points there is a philosophy out there that you should specialize you should stay within one product niche and I've been doing this business since 2003 and I just my experience tells me different it's a matter of you have to constantly be mining for more items different items different product categories different price points and that's what's going to move you forward is doing something different um, yes you want to master something so you can repeat it obviously but you got to keep growing and that's the only way to do it is by doing something different if you keep doing the same thing you're going to keep getting the same results so that's my speech on that okay we've got Kim who bought this at Goodwill for ten dollars sold in nine days for 125 some Doc Martens boots with uh, rose uh, rose flowers embroidered ten bucks sold for 125 Luann paid eight dollars each for three of these at an estate sale listed them separately with a quantity of three sold all three to a collector for 128.97 plus shipping sold within two hours I priced higher than the sold comps I noticed the buyer had a couple listed for much more in his store however he hasn't sold anything since July it, according to what she could see I think he's just going to sit on them until the market drives the price higher and that's fine um, I know people probably buy my stuff and resell it but 
you know, it, it depends on how long you want to wait for that top dollar. And when you have access to a lot of inventory, you you can do that. Um, you can turn it a little bit faster and keep going. And, you know, that's perfectly fine to have that business model. Um, if you don't want to wait three years for something to sell to get top dollar, you don't have to. You can take what makes you happy. It's all about what you want. And is this going to work for you? So the item here is a Seiko Quartz watch. I'm sorry, clock. And she paid $8 for three of these. S listed them all separately with a quantity of three. Teresa paid $5 at a church sale. This was listed around two months. Sold for full asking price. It is a Logitech Universal Remote. $129.99. She paid $5 for it. I mean, for a remote control. That's just, that's just crazy. Okay, Rick bought Saturday for $7. Sold Sunday about two hours after listing. This is a mirrored sign with a wooden frame with the Victor RCA dog. And it sold for $129.99. Amy bought this vintage Little Tykes dollhouse for her daughter off Facebook Marketplace for about $30. It also came with a ton of furniture, which her daughter won't part with yet. Sold for $130 and shipping cost me around $40. Took about a month to sell. So $129.99 was the uh, actual sold price and she bought it for thirty dollars a few years ago so bought it her child played with it and then she sold it and found it a new home Suzanne Tucker paid three dollars for a set of these dishes at a moving sale a couple had chips and I discarded them separated them out and have sold one lot the next day these two sold this week and one more set to go they are Franciscan China Atomic Starburst Pattern Dinner Plates. So $3 for the set and this batch from that set sold for $130. Brian Rappaport again paid $20 at a garage sale on Saturday sold for $134.99 a few days later. These are Maui Jim sunglasses with the case. Sheila says I'm a little behind and not posted here in a while well that is perfectly fine Sheila we all get behind so this was her husband's cap so it was actually free to her and it sold for $135 this is a vintage John Deere patch snapback trucker hat now what's interesting about John Deere is depending on what the logo is that shows when it was made so it was made a certain way for a few years and then they changed it and then changed it again and I have a video about this in my premium library because the older ones are obviously more expensive but if you know how the logo changed throughout the years you can identify that more quickly and know which items are going to be more valuable because I would never say just pick up any John Deere item that you find to sell. No, it's all about picking the right items and hopefully picking the ones that have the highest value. Annabeth purchased this at a local thrift store for $10, listed it on Thursday and had several low offers. Had nine watchers so I raised the price yesterday afternoon and woke up to it sold for full asking price. This is an Eileen Fisher reversible rain jacket, size 3X. $10, sold it for $135. Now we've got Jen, picked up at a charity shop from the Free Pile, listed at $159, sent offer for $139, and sold two hours later, listed for about a month. These are Steger Muckluck Men's Moose Hide Leather 
snow boots. And they were free and she sold them for $139. We've got Jenny Baum again, paid $3 at a yard sale, sold in about three weeks for full asking price. Ballantine Scotland 100% cashmere sweater, sold for $145.54. She paid $3 for it. Joanne bought at a garage sale for $8, sold in about two months. This is a vintage Mamod model toy steam engine made in England, sold for $149.99. She paid $8. Suzanne Tucker again paid $7 on Facebook Marketplace, sold in three days. They paid shipping. This is a Graco baby swing sold for $150 plus $31.87 shipping. And I'm showing you this one because she's getting her stuff on Facebook Marketplace. That is a great place to look for things to sell because a lot of people don't know how to sell on eBay and they don't want to learn and they think it's too complicated and it's going to take too long. And so they just want the cash right now. And I see that a lot. In fact, I was at... I think uh, the Verizon store the other day getting something from my phone and the person helping me was like you know asking what I do for a living and I was explaining it and she's like yeah I tried eBay it just takes too long it I just you know I just do Facebook because I just want to get my money right now and so that's the mentality so if you're in a place where you've got a lot of people on your local groups and you have time to look through what's for sale, you can really get some great things. I buy things for my home all the time on Facebook Marketplace just because home decor items, people change all the time, and you can get some really great bargains. And then when I'm done with it, I turn around and sell it either on eBay or somewhere, you know, depending on if it's too big, like I don't want to fool with shipping it, I'll just resell it. But I sold something the other day, um, some bar stools that I bought <laughs> on Facebook Marketplace for $30 three years ago. And I sold them for $20 the other day. So I basically got most of my money back on those. Bar stools are a great item, a very popular item on Facebook Marketplace. But um, anyway, just don't forget about that. And don't assume that everyone knows how to sell on eBay just because you do because that is absolutely not the case and more people are focused on getting that five, ten, twenty bucks right now than taking the time to clean up an item, take pictures of it, put it up for sale and wait for the item to sell. You know, delayed gratification is a hard thing to come by. Most people don't live that way so just keep that in mind. Okay, Lisa, she found free in a flip house we cleaned out, listed for one day for $199, took best offer of $150. This is a vintage Ralph Lauren polo sport wool um, hat. So found it free, sold it for $150 in one day. Okay, we've got Sheila again. This is my third and last bottle of this, found at Goodwill for $8.99 a bottle. This is Charles of the Ritz Eau de Toilette Spray, $150, and she paid $9 for it at Goodwill. Marla bought this Ouija board for $0.50, cents, sold it for $154.49. And this looks like, um, yeah, it's an older one, 1960s wood deluxe model. So there's some controversy on Ouija boards. Some people are like, I'm not touching that. I'm not bringing that thing in my house. And other people are like, whatever, it's just a game. I'm selling it. So I have a video out there somewhere about would you sell a Ouija board and <laughs> sellers are really divided on this issue you know it just depends on um, you know your opinion of what it really is but here we go 50 cents sold it for 154.49 Kathy McCloskey bought at a Salvation Army store for six dollars 
listed on two platforms for maybe six months, but finally sold this weekend. Uh, this is a Donna Vinci coat duster. Sold it for $160, and she paid $6 for it. Really cool looking embroidery on this item. Okay, William paid $3, needed cleaning and restrung. This is a vintage Patty Play Pal by Ideal Doll with original clothes. And he has read her story in the title. So, of course, I had to go to the listing and read her story. Um, this was $3. It sold for $172.50. But here is the story. This little girl has an interesting story. She was found in an abandoned storage unit. When she was rescued, she was in pieces, though complete. Her hair was a mess, and it seems like a lot of little girls her age, she had gotten mommy scissors and tried to give herself a haircut. She was dirty, as were her clothes. The elastic is gone from her panties, and there is some yellowing on her smock. I carefully washed her and put her back together. Her elastic band was disconnected, and after reassembling, her head is still a little loose. I washed her hair and conditioned it with downy. Her clothes were hand-washed with woolite, hung to dry, and she was finally redressed and ready to find a new home. If you have any questions about this patty, please email me before bidding. She will be carefully packed in a box and mailed in sure priority mail. So, what a great thing. He put her back together, and she looks great. And she sold for $172.50, and he only paid three dollars so that's amazing <laughs> great story Kristen purchased a Christmas lot from a clean-out auction and was ecstatic to find four vintage ceramic Christmas trees this lot was just over forty dollars and I made that money back with the sale of a few boxes of shiny bright ornaments and a vintage stuffed Santa the Christmas trees were a bonus helping me make over $500 on the whole lot. I bought everything on August 28th, listed them September 18th, and just sold the last tree today. I still have some more ornaments left to list. So just the tree sold for $175, and this is one of those vintage ceramic lighted Christmas trees, and it was in white. Shannon got this at an estate sale this summer for $10. Just sold last night for full price of $175. I was one of the most expensive ones listed too. Video does help. Listed for roughly two months. This is a Mr. Christmas Santa's Musical Workshop. And she had included a video on her listing showing that it works and the music and all of that. So she bought this for $10 and it sold for $175. Nikki bought a large lot of over 100 hats for $172. Sold this group on auction. So we've got a lot of four different hats uh, with seed corn patches. These are mesh snapback hats and so she didn't say the exact price for each hat but this lot sold for $178.50, paying for the whole lot of 100 that she bought. Okay, here we have that dollhouse again. And when I was putting this video together, I was like, wait, I've already got this in there. No, this is a different one. So two people sold the same dollhouse. The other one we saw did not have the furniture with it. But Jackie bought this on Facebook Marketplace for $40, sold in two days for full asking price. Again, it's the Vintage Little Tykes Blue Roof Dollhouse family with the uh, little furniture and the cozy coop and the sandbox and all that with it. So another Facebook Marketplace buy that somebody flipped on eBay for four times plus what she paid for it. So look for this little dollhouse because this is a hot item and it's plastic. Wouldn't be that hard to ship. It wouldn't be that heavy and it's not going to break. Um, I definitely would wrap it in bubble wrap, but it's not like a chandelier or a set of glassware where it might break. Um, 
So it's very easy to identify with the blue roof, big plastic dollhouse, little tykes. Put that one in your brain and look for that. Pamela paid $41.83 at an estate sale, sold on auction for $179 in seven days. This is vintage Bulldog smoking tobacco tin. So this is just the empty tin. Obviously somebody collects this kind of thing. Um, all these old tins are highly collectible, whether they're medicine, tobacco, you know, any band-aids, any of those kinds of things where they just don't make those tins anymore. So $41.83 and turn that into $179 in seven days. Jennifer paid $20 off Facebook Marketplace. Are we noticing a theme here? <laughs> Sold for $180 plus shipping. This is a rare yellow vintage AM FM radio and cassette player. Same one that is seen in the show Stranger Things. 20 bucks sold for 180. Amber bought this book for a dollar at a pallet store with Amazon returns and sold it for $180. This is a building construction costs book. And someone asked, what is a pallet store? And Amber said, I'm not sure how to explain it, but they are popping up all over my area. It's small businesses that buy pallets of Amazon returns and other stuff and throw it in big bins and customers sort through it for treasures. I think it may be set up like a Goodwill outlet. I've never been to one of those because we don't have them in West Virginia. So keep an eye out for those pallet stores. That's an interesting concept. Stephanie bought this dress at the Goodwill bins very heavy so probably three dollars sold this morning for hundred and eighty dollars on ebay and it's going to the uk and this is a vintage oleg cassini black beaded cocktail dress perfect for holiday wear so she estimates three dollars sold it for hundred and eighty jerry bought this for three dollars and fifty cents sold on a seven day auction for hundred and eighty two dollars and fifty cents these are Oshkosh overalls and uh, I'm guessing vintage because these are also kind of collectible. I'm noticing a lot of these selling for over $100. Jay, thinking I priced too low, but it cost me $5 at the bins, sold overnight for $185. This is a rare vintage Pop Works pink Cadillac jukebox boombox am fm cassette radio so five dollars sold for 185 and can't complain about that wendy paid 42 dollars at an auction they appeared more valuable when i bought them after sitting for a year and a half i took a best offer of 110 dollars plus shipping i just wanted to move them along i still have the bracelet for sale these are elvis presley 1956 earrings in original packaging. $42 sold for $185. Etta, this is the last lot of cross stitch kits, bought a huge box at an estate sale for $10. This was the third, final, largest, most expensive lot. The other lots sold quickly. This one took about three weeks. I held out for the high price. So let's see, how much did she pay for all of them? $10, which includes some not shown here. And this lot itself sold for $195. Rhonda got these at Goodwill on half day for $7.50. Soles and heels were a mess, but leather looked fantastic. Comps were great, so we had them professionally resold and rehealed and conditioned. Spent $90 on that. So total cost was $97.50. Sold for $198.50 in less than two weeks. So even after putting money into having new soles put on, she still made $100 after all was said and done. Brenda paid $5 at a yard sale, listed for two to three months. My best flip so far. This is a vintage oil rain lamp. Greek goddess, $199. She paid $5 for it at a yard sale. K 
Kim bought this guy for a hefty $100 on Facebook Marketplace, figuring it was an easy sell being close to Halloween. Sold in about three weeks for full asking of $199. Used an incredible amount of bubble wrap and packing materials, really hoping he makes it there okay. This is the Zoltan talking fortune teller. If you saw the movie Big with Tom Hanks, this was the uh, machine thing at the carnival where he made the wish that he would be big. So Zoltan comes from Zoltan knows. Anyway, $100 and she sold it for just under $200. So made her money and then some. Laura, this is a Harry K. Wong teaching DVD set sold for full asking price of $199.99 plus free shipping after about a month. Bought at public library sale for $17. So you can see there it is a box DVD set. $17 sold for just under $200. We've got Brian who paid $40 at Goodwill and sold for $199.99 in a day and a half. This is an Apple Watch. Jennifer, White House Christmas Ornament Lot, paid $40 at Goodwill for 32 ornaments, sold for $200 in 15 minutes. <laughs> wow. $40 turned into $200 in 15 minutes. Now we've got Liz who bought this strategy hardback book for $2 and it sold for $200 within a month. This is Bloodborne, the Old Hunter's Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. Okay, we've got Lori and she said this was her second sale. She paid $15 at a yard sale, sold in one day for $200. This is a vintage mid-century toaster with wall mount. Fifteen bucks turned it into two hundred. Diana paid thirty-five dollars at an estate sale and took best offer of two hundred plus free shipping after two and a half months. My best sale to date. Congratulations Diana! These are some Patagonia fly fishing waders. Thirty-five dollars sold for two hundred. Wendy paid $3 at a church sale, sold for $180, plus shipping in less than two months. This is a vintage style craft Miami gray marbled lucite purse mid-century. So it's that hard, almost plastic feeling material, but it's lucite. So $3, sold for $180. We've got Brad, sold this item in nine minutes. <laughs> Paid $10 on Thursday, sold in nine minutes after posting on Saturday night. Vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses, aviators with green lenses. $10 sold for $215 in nine minutes. If that doesn't motivate you to list your stuff, I don't know what does. Okay, Eileen, discontinued Crabtree and Evelyn lotion. Paid $10 at a Goodwill while on vacation in another state. Listed for $225, accepted best offer of $175 plus shipping, took three weeks to sell. So we've got two jumbo bottles of this lotion. She paid $10 and she took an offer of $175. So that one's actually out of order because it said it sold for $225. So, oh well, even I make mistakes. Okay, Tina. Went to an under-advertised estate auction, bought the bag with two pool cues for $10. The first one was a cheap cue, sold it for $25 plus shipping in just a couple of hours. Next listed this one for $2.95 because I had no clue. It is a McDermott retired cue from $2,000. Paid $5, sold for best offer of $225, free shipping in just a few hours. So here we have another one, just a few hours, $5.00 sold for $225 for a pool cue with case. Shannon found 42 of the 48 of these books at Goodwill, paid 50 cents each and then bought the others for between $1.50 and $3.50 to complete the set. Altogether spent $36. 
Homeschoolers use these for history lessons. This was my personal best sale since starting back into this in March. Took me about three months. $36, sold the complete set for $225. Sherry, this is her best sale to date. Bought this lot from Facebook Marketplace for $35, sold on auction for $228. Vintage 1960s elf on a shelf. $35, sold for $228. Connie just picked up two of these, both in mint condition, at an estate sale for $5 each. Sold one in a few hours for $250 plus shipping. And this is a vintage Hewlett Packard calculator with case. Licia paid $22 at a thrift store. These were listed on several platforms for about two months. Nike Shocks Metallic Silver Shoes sold for $250 and she paid $22. We've got Aaliyah who purchased these Ray Dunn Discontinued Bowls for $8 sold for $255. These are what I call my headache bowls. They originally sold for $500 on best offer the week before. The lady returned them on her dollar. Still happy overall since I was able to turn around and sell them a second time. So Ray Dunn, $8 for the bowls, sold for $225. We've got Teresa Carpenter again. Listed for a few days. Bought four of these for a dollar each at a garage sale. This was for three cartridges. Sold the fourth one for $85 on Thursday. So this listing was for three cartridges, sold for $255. Kimberly paid $10 at an estate sale in Burbank, California. It was listed for two months. Took a best offer of $275. One of the candlesticks was broken at the base. The buyer is going to repair. This was a Art Nouveau Nude Lady Candlestick Figurine. $10 and sold it for $275. And now we have KC who is showing us a dumpster find. So looks like this was free. Sold this for $425 with free shipping. This was over 35 pounds. One item I collect for difficult shipping is large sheets of styrofoam. I'm pretty efficient at cutting it to size for my custom boxes. I also use thick moving boxes that I cut to size. This is an amplifier. Now we've got Casey with another one. All of my best sales this week fit nicely into a similar theme, difficult shipping. <laughs> best sale was this receiver salvaged from my town's dumpster days. Paid only a couple dollars for it in my bundle price as they have a little donation jar there for the volunteers. Sold for $431 plus $60 in shipping. It was 66 pounds. This is a uh, Yamaha receiver. So another one. Now we've got George Kelly. Can't do a $100 video without George Kelly. Bought this broken gold pocket watch at a garage sale last week for $20. Sold at auction last night for $470. So I want to be like George Kelly when I grow up because he just does this all the time. Now we're getting to the end and we have our winners of the first, second, and third place sales for the $100 and over supersize items. We've got Rita who picked this Robert Wyland sculpture up at an estate sale for $100. It has been listed for a few months. Sold today for full asking price of $499.99. $100 investment, turned around and sold it for just under $500. So Rita is our third place runner up. Now we've got Julie. This was actually free to her. It took about two months to sell and she dropped the price $100. This is a Dominic uh, sterling silver serving fork spoon. Very rare. $600 and it was free to her. So I wonder if this was a family item or someone's estate within the family or you know how that came about. But Julie is a second place winner 
with this $600 item. And our winner for this edition is KC. Best sale paid $2.50 and took best offer of $850 plus shipping after a couple of hours. I found one of these at an estate sale last month having never heard of them. Of course that means I would find two more now that I know what to look for. What is it? It is a Nikon super cool scan 35 millimeter scanner slide film holder. I have no idea what it does. I'm sure Casey will comment and tell us what it does. But this sold for $850. He only paid $2.50 for this item. Wow, those were just some amazing sales. Um, I really commend everybody who is out there hustling it and uh, getting your items listed. And thank you so much for sharing and making this community so great because we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching and have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.